So we recently got a request to look at the Veer Switchback, and since viewers have asked before about Veer as a brand, we thought we'd share what we know about them. Veer products aren't available here in Europe, unfortunately. But despite this, we have actually done a bit of research on their models over the last year or so, in particular the Switch and Roll, both for patrons as well as just for our own curiosity, after getting a laugh out of Danny Gonzalez's spoof review of the Tactical Baby Gear stroller, which is simply the Veer Switch and Roll slash Switchback with camo textiles. This latest comment directly asks about the Switchback system, which, as far as I can tell, is a system only in the sense that a single seat frame can be swapped between all three of Veer's strollers, the Cruiser, their Wagon, the Switch and Jog, a pretty hardcore looking off-road runner, and lastly, the Switch and Roll, an Upper Baby Vista-like tandem capable model, as well as also having the ability to be used as a high chair, connecting to a base to function as a lounger, and lastly, even mountable to the back of a bicycle. As far as the strollers go, I'm not going to give much comment on the first two models, with the Cruiser because, well, a wagon is a wagon. Kids do seem to enjoy them sometimes, but they fail in my experience in a lot of other ways, such as terrain capability, folded size, and ease of maneuvering versus side-by-side -side models. While the jog and roll looks good for the most part in terms of the chassis, having many mechanical elements in common with bob joggers, and though I wouldn't want to entirely presume on its capabilities without actually taking a screwdriver to it, it certainly seems to offer good value for parents, looking for a reversible seat running stroller, especially if you also have a use for one of Veer's other models as well, and just buy the chassis. The Switch and Roll, however, is the most exciting of these in my opinion, due to the fact that I can see in various other reviews, as well as, more importantly, the severe punishment that Danny puts the model through, that is built quite sturdily. And, in its basic chassis design, it's also, obviously, a complete ripoff of the Upper Baby Vista V2, a stroller that I love meaning solid suspension, internal folding mechanisms kept pretty simple, a huge basket, and also, with the one serious positive over the Vista, of significantly larger 9.5 inch front wheels, giving the model a real edge off-road versus most other reversible seat four-wheelers on the current market. As with the Switch and Jog, I wouldn't want to give a full verdict without actually getting my hands on the model, and there are definitely a few concerns that I have with the Switch and Roll just from research, including a possibly loose seat frame, the fact that the canopy is flush with the seat back, which could mean headspace problems, and the fact that I've found at least one customer report concerning brake issues. But at the same time, the overall engineering does seem to be pretty heavy duty, and for certain non-car based lifestyles, in particular northern cities that get some snow, or hybrid urban and nature use, I could see this model as potentially being a pretty strong offering in relation to the wider market. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.